our responses to the five demands have been made with full consideration of different constraints and circumstances. I recognize that these may not be able to address all the grievances of people in society. However, should we all think deeply whether escalating violence and disturbances is the answer, or whether it is better to sit down to find a way out through dialogue? Many would say that we need a common basis to start such a dialogue, and that this has to start with the chief executive. I now present four actions to initiate this dialogue. First, the government will formally withdraw the bill in order to fully allay public concerns. The Secretary for Security will move a motion according to the rules of procedure when the Legislative Council resumes. Second, we will fully support the work of the IPCC. In addition to the overseas experts, I have appointed two new members to the IPCC, namely Mrs. Helen Yu and Senior Counsel Mr. Paul Lam. I pledge that the government will seriously follow up the recommendations made in the IPCC's report. Third, from this month, I and my principal officials will reach out to the community to start a direct dialogue. People from all walks of life with different stances and backgrounds are invited to share their views and air their grievances. We must find ways to address the discontent in society and to look for solutions. Fourth, I will invite community leaders professionals and academics to independently examine and review society's deep-seated problems and to advise the government on finding solutions. After more than two months of social unrest, it is obvious to many that this contentment extends far beyond the bill. It covers political, economic and social issues including the oft-mentioned problems relating to housing and land supply, income distribution, social justice and mobility, and opportunities for our young people, as well as how the public could be fully engaged in government's decision-making. We can discuss all these issues in our new dialogue platform. My team and I hope that the four actions just announced can help our society to move forward. Let's replace conflicts with conversations and let's look for solutions.